All right there, good afternoon. Uh, I'm gonna give you a short update what's on the plate here today. We're gonna be replacing the uh, EGR valve. And I got one out of a 116, W116, got the same body as the original one. You can see this, it's a 22308 and 22308, except the two numbers on top are a little bit different, but they will open and close just the same. And the reason why I'm doing this is this is the California model. And the California model has an extra oxygen sensor in the exhaust return, which goes around, goes around, and then goes into the bottom of the intake system. And in order for this to probably work, the EGR system, um, is I have to get that in here. And the old one is broken. This one is open, basically. No more vacuum, no more open, closed. This will work fine. eBay, 75 bucks. Then the next thing would happen, unfortunately, is since I fixed now the EHA valve and I restored the pumps, fuel filter, and the um, um, expansion unit or the pressure unit, what do they call it, the... Uh, a fuel uh, accumulator. The fuel accumulator really is nothing but a membrane which is spring-loaded and the pump will pump into it and when you turn the pump off the check valve will cut off any reflow into the pump and then it will push this to the uh, hoses here it will keep that pressure alive through that spring which pushes against the membrane and that keeps this whole thing going as long as you don't have a leak. Anyway, if you remember this, we did the pressure test with the uh, pressure hose and uh, the gauge, and we had six and 6.4, it couldn't be any better, but the pressure was too high, and I blew up the center gasket in here, finally gave out, and now I'm leaking fuel everywhere, and cylinder eight is gonna, is getting the most fuel in it, it's go boom, 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 the whole engine shakes like this. So I'm gonna change this, I gotta rebuild unit here and uh, you can see it we're going to be putting this in and we got us a new starter the old starter was put in when they fixed the engine and i got a new mercedes-benz one from mercedes-benz here in the united states we built by bosch mercedes-benz part number old one is going in so that's the two things and we'll see how far i get this afternoon here and um yeah the interesting thing was this also too here with the egr valve since i'm looking at this down here in this outlet from the exhaust you have this thing but there's an overthrow on here which goes in there to hold this that was missing so they never put that back in uh so you can see there was a whole bunch of issues on that engine that the engine was basically fixed correctly probably by someone else and then all the accessories are around it um, except for the air pump and the compressor uh, for the AC, those are working fine. The alternator was already replaced as a replacement part and had a bad or failing voltage regulator on there. And so is the starter. It's a rebuilt one or it's the original. Uh, we will see this when we take it out. Older than Methuselah, it gets stuck now. It doesn't release properly anymore. I'm glad I haven't cut off any um, teeth yet on this. So I will keep you updated. First thing now, AGR then the fuel distributor, and then when we get to it, the starter. All right? Have a great evening.